is this HK58. I'm going to talk to you about some more random bunch of cards that I'd like to see put into modern just to change up the format. And if you liked any of these videos or like some of the ideas of these videos and like to make your own, go ahead. I challenge you, go ahead. You know, it'd be great to see more of this content out. Um, there's also a link in the description below talking about how I can see these cards added into modern outside of going through standard. Even though on this list, there's quite a few that can actually just go right straight. They go straight into standard. Like this first page, um, all of them could I could see go into standard. The only time they would have to go in is like Wall of Deceit would have to go in when they bring Morph back or Wall of Diffusion when they bring creatures with Shadow back. But it just gives some more... Like this page here would just be all defenders. It'd be kind of cool to see in modern. Uh, the star one is Wall of Blossoms. I'd probably be the big fan favorite. Um, or player favorite that would, everyone would love to see in stand or mo even go through standard. But yeah, let's, um, so yeah, this is, I'm just going to brief over these walls. They have unique different effects when they're blocking or they could block a number of creatures. So yeah, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and the next one. Zombie Master. I know this one didn't get a reprint around 8th edition. 8th and 9th edition when, uh, similar to the, uh, Elf, Elven Lord, they actually got reprinted. That gives uh, Forced Walk to Elves. But this one, uh, it'd be kind of cool to see this one in Modern. See if any of the zombie decks could get some sort of support. Um, Paralyze, a one mana removal. It's a weird, interesting one. This one I could see more fitting into Modern a different way. Or maybe even go through Standard. It's a pretty powerful one mana enchantment. Comes into play, you tap the enchanted creature, and then it doesn't untap unless they decide to pay an additional four to untap it at the beginning of their upkeeps. Or untap step, sorry. Um, hey, it'd be kind of cool. Well, actually, you have to pay the four to, during the un upkeep. So it'd be kind of a cool little one mana removal spell for black outside of, oh, I'm just going to kill it completely. So if there's any sort of black enchantment decks, that can spawn from this. Hey, there you go. Let's get to support those decks. Um, diffusions of, or delusions of mediocrity. Uh, four mana enters the battlefield. You gain ten life. Leaves the battlefield. You lose ten life. So a great way, <clears throat> if it works right, you know, a great way to take the card, play it, gain ten, give it to your opponent, bounce it back to your hand, and your t opponent loses ten life. It'll be kind of cool to see that. Will it be ran? Maybe, maybe not. This one can be one of those ones that goes through standard. Because outside of you gaining an extra 10 life, which may or may not save you, it'd be different to see any... It'd, it'd be different to see blue decks having some sort of life gain. And of course, right now, mod, standard probably doesn't have anything that gifts cards to their opponent. And if they do, there's a great card. Um, so yeah, this one can easily go through standard. Would it be played in modern? Maybe if you're really built around it. It'd be definitely one of those against the odds decks. Bone Dancer, 3 mana, 2-2 two, two zombie. Put the top creature card of defending player's graveyard in, into play under the, your control. Deals no combat damage this turn. Use this ability only if Bone Dancer is attacking and is unblocked. And only once per turn. Oh, this one I will say that I'd have to look it up to actually see the real wording of it, but yeah, this basically steals a creature, but this card deals no damage. So it's a weird one. So modern for modern, this would be really powerful if they have something good like a Tarmogoyf or <clears throat> just anything in their graveyard. Snapcaster mage, well, Snapcaster's a mage, not much, but you get what I'm saying. You, you get still their creatures that are in the graveyard. <clears throat> but it has to be the top creature too, not just a chosen one. So it'd be pretty powerful. Will it be ran? Zombies could probably pick it up, and use it, find a way of making it unblockable, swing in, steal their, start stealing their time glass. Gotcha. Self a squire, four mana, one one. Flash, and there's battlefield. You prevent all damage that would be dealt to you this turn, and. Gets that many plus one plus one counters, so you make this big beefy creature for four mana. 
uh, it has its uses. I can see this even going into standard. This is definitely one that will fit into standard, not a problem. <clears throat> Plague Bearer. Another one that can actually also fit into standard for a zombie format. Plague Bearer 2 mana 1 1. You have to pay two colorless or two of anything and one black to destroy one creature. So you're basically dark banishing a creature. <clears throat> it's an old card, three mana. Two colorless and a mana, or two colorless and a black to destroy target non black creature. That's an instant of back in the day when mana cost was like three to destroy a creature. Um, which kind of still is in, in standard in a way. But this is a dark banishing on a stick. And you can start pl killing off multiples. So, yeah. Well, and you also have to make sure the casting cost is equal to X. Which is a little much. But it's it's a cool little mana sink. If you have too much mana, you can start just killing off your, creature, your opponent's creatures. Um... Carnophage. I don't know why this wasn't in, set up into uh, stand, or standard back in the day when. No, not Carnophage, the other version of 2 mana 3 3. Sangrophage, I think is what it's called. Um, was put into modern or standard and now it's in modern. It's another little 1 mana 2 2. During your upkeep, pay a life or you tap this. It's another mana. It'd just be like Grave Digger or Grave Crawler, sorry little beefy little creature that can actually be used in some like m black weenie type deck not like white weenies but black weenie because we also have bad moon too good way to boost your creatures <clears throat> um flame right i'm surprised this card was not in keladesh block it would fit great in that deck or in that block two mana one one you make a defender one one colorless con con construct but then you sacrifice a creature with Defender to deal one damage to a creature or player. So it kind of works with itself. Um, it's kind of cool from the conspiracy, one of the conspiracy sets. And actually, I can see it actually fitting into uh, this style of card, fitting it into standard. No problem. No problem. Because you have to actually have an, a way to untap it. So it's like, at the end of your turn, I tap, create a token, untap... <clears throat> Then you tap the sack of the crow token, kill off one of their creatures of toughness of one, or get in for that final point of damage on their life. So, yeah, this one's easily standard viable. Karlov, Ghost Council of the Ghost Council. Two mana for a 2 2 X, just like the, <clears throat> the cat from Soul Sisters, where you gain life, except you put two plus one plus one counters on it. But you also have an added effect of removing 6 to exile a creature. How it would be nice to have that little bit of extra reach maybe in, in the actual uh, Soul Sisters type decks if you actually go black-white. Plus there are some cards black-white likes to do draining and stuff. So if you get the right cards in, you might actually make a viable Soul Sisters deck with some actual drain life kind of cards. Outside of it, that might be one of the few any sort of life gain decks. Karlov would be... A really good card. Especially since it has that add effect of, oh, I'm just going to make you... <clears throat> I'm going to start killing your creatures after I get six. You gain life three times, boom. You have an 8-8. Eight, eight. Beat in your face. And if I, and afterwards, I exile that. Whatever that is. <laughs> um, so Daxos returned. Um, there was a card earlier on this list I talked about, one mana, one black mana to tap a creature and it can't be untapped. Unless they untap and pay four. Um, but this one would be great, this would be a great card to work with that kind of card. When you make like a black-white enchantment style deck. And there's other cards that can be supported, so. I know it works with experience counters. It would be new to modern as a random little mechanic from the commander sets, but hey, I say give it a shot. It has its viable uses. <clears throat> Especially when you can actually make um, black white spirit enchantment creature tokens. Number of experience counters. So you keep getting bigger and bigger creatures whenever you play enchantments. Um, Dignoplasm. This is just a standard, another way to make another clone. It'd be kind of cool to see. I don't see it being played in modern at all because clone and a lot of its variants, just 99% of its variants don't ever get used. 
except Phantasmal Image, the two mana version. <clears throat> Hollowed Spirit Keeper, three mana for three two. When it dies, put X one one white spirit creature tokens flying onto the battlefield, and where X is the number of creatures in your graveyard. So if you get, keep getting Wrath of God, not Anger of Gods, because Anger of Gods just destroys this ability altogether. But if you keep getting Wrath of God, Supreme Verdict, etc., this would be a great card to go in that type of deck to where you get your man, your creatures back. Cool little trick to go. Okay, this play I play this. If you bolt it, well, I can just get a one one or two one ones or three one ones to replace its take its spot. Noxious School. Uh, when back when Innistrad came out, I always thought it'd be kind of cool to see this in the first Innistrad block time frame for standard. Even though they could have always made a newer version. <clears throat> to where I can go Heartless Summoning, turn two, turn three, play this. And then turn four, I keep playing, find a way of killing off my Grave Digger. Oh, my Grave Digger would die. But I keep playing my Grave Digger from the graveyard and start making opponent's creatures go negative one, negative two, negative three. Until on a turn. Noxious School is a fun little casual card and commander card. <clears throat> or a card for commander. It's a fun little card to see, and I'd, I'd like to see a newer version, maybe a 4-mana, 2-4 or something, that actually has that type of effect. It'd be great in a zombie deck. Would it be played in modern? Probably not. It'd be kind of cool to see a newer form of this card. That, that is one reason why I put this one on the list. It's a little mix-up of the title of the video, and that's it. That's the last card on our list, and yeah. So, thanks for watching, and... Oh, you guys have a wonderful day.